Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for the week of September 20th through the 27th for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I just want to thank all of you so much for watching the readings and definitely for hitting that like button that will allow or influence YouTube to show the readings to more people who are searching for Taurus readings. So thanks a lot for doing that and definitely for subscribing. And um, if you're new here, I'd love to invite you to join us and become a subscriber. I post new readings every Friday and then typically either Monday or Tuesday, but twice a week. I do recognize that it's always somebody's reading, but it's not always everyone's. So let's begin here and get the guidance for Taurus, please. What does Taurus need to know, please, for the highest good of all concerned? What messages do you have for Taurus, please? Okay. Here we go. So we'll do our tarot reading and then we will do a um, an oracle card reading. All right. So you've got the sun, the knight of cups, the three, or excuse me, the eight of wands, the six of wands, the seven, that's interesting to have six, seven, and eight of the same suit together. The world, the king of swords, and the magician. Wow. This is really an outstanding reading. I mean, there's not there's not a downside to this reading, really. Um, and how interesting, like I said, that you have six, seven, eight all together. You know, that's important. So you certainly have fire here, Aries, Leo, Sag. You've got water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You do have air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and really you have all the elements in the magician. And it, that's another interesting facet of this because you have the magician, which is number one. Technically, it's the second major arcana because the fool is actually first, even though it's zero. And then the, the ending of the world. So you are definitely in a, a very high vibrational place, but in a place of unlimited possibilities. I mean, this is really fantastic. Um, you know, you've got a love offer for sure, but it's like you're going to be riding high on this, in this high vibrational place. And I don't see it ending anytime soon. Really, it's, it's, you can have do or be anything is what this reading says. There's nothing about it that has any limitations at all. Okay. So it's really phenomenal. I don't, I've not had a reading that looks like this in I don't know how long. So you have, um, you've got the sun here. And again, for some of you, it, in terms of love, you have somebody coming in who is going to just absolutely adore you. Um, I feel like they appreciate you. They appreciate, and they notice things. They notice a lot of small details. Um, they just know they're very observant, but they're also, like I said, they've got this attention to detail and they, you know, they want to, they want to be in love. They want to have love with you. If you're already in something, again, this is, this is a life partner. It is definitely somebody who's committed, who, um, has a lot going for them. And I do feel like they put in effort. They will put in effort to the relationship. If it's somebody coming back around again, I don't see it ending. It just is something that's supposed to be. It's this beautiful, deep, passionate, love, but there's real love. I mean, when I say that it's deep, I mean, it is, it goes deep. So with the sun too, it is really a love that is, um, truthful. It's honest. There's integrity here. And so for those of you that are, are saying, you know, I've been in a dark place. I haven't been in a good place. Here you go. This is you coming out of that. And again, you know, I mentioned this a lot when we have, we have cards that are unclothed, you know, there's freedom here, you know, there's freedom in this, both of these have a banner of victory or a wreath of victory. They're both, and really with this one too, I mean, you've got three different cards here, um, that have, you know, this either banner or wreath of victory in them. So that's really what they're telling you. I mean, it's really a time in your life that, um, you'll look back on and it will be, a, a time where you felt like you could not catch a struggle, like everything just moves forward with this ease and flow, and it's you're totally in sync with this. 
Um, so even though there's a lot of love in this reading, it's like all areas of your life are, it's not just stable, they're beyond that, they're flourishing. Every area, area of your life is flourishing. That's what they're saying. So if you're asking about a specific thing, you know, some people do that before they turn on tarot, they say, um, you know, should I, you know, sh should I look for a new job or should I, um, you know, look for a love in a specific area, whatever, you know, when you get that, you start to get an answer to it. So if somebody's done that, they're definitely telling you yes. So with the Knight of Cups, you've definitely got an offer coming in. And knights in general in the tarot are good intentions, okay? These are noble. No, these are, you know, in terms of the court cards, they're noble players. So again, you've got somebody who's coming in who is noble, who's got integrity. And for some reason, I get fire department. I don't know if they work for the fire department or they have something to do with, um, they're like a first responder or something like that could be. Um, but they have you know, great heart, they're compassionate. And the Knight of Cups also too, though, is about um, visualizing, okay? So it could be too, this person's into things like they know Neville Goddard or they, they study, study spiritual teachers who teach concepts of visualization and things like that um, because they're definitely manifesting this commitment with you. And it's really, it's everything. I mean, it's got everything. There's, there's, passion here. There's great communication here. There's clarity. It's like two people who really are best friends and can communicate to the point where it's like they can just begin a sentence and the other person knows exactly what they're going to say. It's that kind of relationship. So it's going to move forward fast. These are the arrows of love in the tarot, the eight of wands. And it's, a, you know, it's a, it's a, there's this momentum with it, you know, it just picks up and it's, uh, it's like this automatic connection. Now, if it's something else for you, if you're saying, you know, I, I really don't want a relationship, it's really any situation moves forward with speed and with minimal resistance, if nothing at all. It's like it just is free to develop and move forward. In eights, again, are about movement in the tarot, but with the eight of wands, um, you know, it's also communication. So for some of you that are waiting on some kind of information, you will be getting it and it makes you happy. It's like this celebratory feeling when you get the information. It's that feeling of adrenaline, that rush of excitement that comes in. It's really a beautiful time for you. And then you have the six of wands and sixes are about stability and with in the tarot. And with the Six of Wands, again, you're flying high. I mean, this whatever information you're getting is going to be life-changing. It takes you on this trajectory that's amazing. And with the Six of Wands, again, too, in a relationship, you have somebody who, or if it's a job too, but but it feels more relationship indicated, um, they really appreciate and admire you. You know, they think you're like it, you know, they think you're attractive and a, I was going to say beautiful, but in case you're a guy, they, I mean, maybe they could say that too, but either way, um, they really only have eyes for you. Okay. This is not somebody who's texting three or four people or would ever do that. They're so trustworthy. Um, so with the seven of wands here, this is all about moving forward and it's sevens are victory and success in the tarot. So you've got um, a situation that's going to be successful no matter what. So whatever you're asking about, there's nothing that can stop it. If there's some minor hang up, it's minor. If there's some obstacle, like there's distance or there's some other thing where it kind of plays into your head a little bit, like what will people think kind of stuff, it will become irrelevant quickly. Um, you know, there's plenty of marriages and soulmate opportunities that last for decades and there's decades of age in between them, or maybe they've got some debt or something and you kind of go, or you've got some debt and you go, oh God, I'm not that marketable with all this debt. Don't worry about it. You never know. I mean, I've seen some really crazy stuff where somebody had a lot of money, but they felt like their life was unbalanced and they met somebody who had a lot of debt and it was really irrelevant to them. They were like, well, let's just pay it off. Who cares? It just didn't hold as much weight to them because money wasn't an issue. 
So it wasn't their issue. It didn't bother them the way that it bothered the person that was keeping it. So whatever there is, it's not going to stop this. And then, of course, we've mentioned we've got the world. And I, I do want to point this out because you do have three major arcana here. And what a glorious, I mean, talk about the Holy Trinity. I mean, what a glorious combination or trifecta of major arcana that you have here. You really can't ask for a better combination than these, you know. So you're entering a new cycle. And like I said, it's like you, st you stand at the turning point and when you go in this direction, you don't look back. So if you're letting go of something or you need to let go of something, the time is now because you have this energy that's available to you. And that for some people, if you're still hanging on to something, maybe that's the answer. You need to let go of it and here it will come in. Um, so with the world, you know, this is also a new journey, a new beginning. It certainly indicates travel. Somebody mentioned some outbreak of, um, I think COVID-19, not I think, but in Malaysia or somewhere. And, you know, here, I mean, we have different things on the news that are saying, you know, things probably won't be back to normal until the end of 2021, but there is a progression. I mean, it's not, they're not predicting that it's going to, at least what I saw in the news yesterday, even though I try to av avoid the news. So I still feel like for people here, we're traveling, I guess is what I'm getting at. And really, I mean, there's people that are walking the Camino right now. People are traveling. So Either way, um, if that's you, then, you know, know that that's available to you. So with the King of Swords, even though kings are a little bit cold, it's this comes in to tell you there's great clarity. So you're being swept off your feet in this beautiful energy, but you still have your wits about you. So decisions will come easily to you. It will be easy to move forward because it's like the right ideas just seem to materialize and that's part of being in sync with the universe, quieting your mind, really becoming whole with that which you are, you know, that whole part of you, the soul, the spirit, the universe, whatever you want to call it, the God within you. And when you're doing that, you can have all this energy around you, but still have sense about you. Um, this also could be about the person I mentioned, first responder. They could also be um, something to do like an attorney or something like that. Um, or even I feel like like an editor or something. Um, I don't know. There's something about them, though, professional feels. Um, so either way, um, there's there's definitely a solid trajectory. There's not, even though there's all this energy around it, there's nothing that is negative, like I said. So you got the magician, of course, and this is such a great card because this really tells you that you are universal power. You can have, do, or be anything, and our thoughts become things. So um, some of you are getting into this field, this energy field, where your thoughts will come to life all around you. And the money's there, the, you know, the great relationship is here, the, um, the stability in terms of home, building a home that you love, you know, really being able to go out and do things that you want to do, having freedom, freedom to make all the choices because you have resources to do it. So those of you that are, you know, wondering, should I do this? They're telling you, yes, you know, will this be, a, is there a positive indication around whatever it is that you're asking about? The answer is yes. I mean, it's um, resoundingly so. So let's, um, let's ask the angels. We might, might as well, right? See what they have to say, even though this is probably plenty. Uh, okay, so we will. And get a timeline here. And the yes, the no, the indifference. And here we go. Trust, okay? So, you know, just having that trust that the universe is always on your side and bringing in good things for you, even if it doesn't always feel like it, it's always for a higher purpose. And that's your highest good. All right, so there's nothing happening. There's no test happening to try to deliver pain to see what you're made of. Let go. So remember how I mentioned that? For those of you that are like kind of shaking your head saying, I don't see this in my energy field. There's something you need to let go of um, in order to allow this to come in. And uh, your last um, 
remain positive. So definitely, if especially those of you who are having a hard time seeing good things around you, really pivoting, reaching for better feeling thoughts, seeing the good around you, whether it be a device that you have to listen to this or a car or a job or whatever, you know, anything that's positive around you, even recounting things like, you know, I've had times in my life where I've sat down and, and written, made a list of every single place I've traveled to. And it really reminds me why wow, you've been able to do a lot of things. Um, so even something like this, they're telling you perfect timing. So what's the yes, the no? And I got another yes. I do my very best to get the cards in the middle, but the cards have a mind of their own. Okay. So they're telling you yes, though. And I told you in the reading too, it's resounding. So Great reading for you, Taurus. I love you so much, and I'll be back again soon.